Thorlai. Shuffle the Big Bang Theory on Plex, please. A random episode from the Big Bang Theory should now be playing on Plex. Time to geek out with the game. The capabilities of Home Assistant never cease to amaze me. Whenever I'm walking throughout my home and a thought crosses my mind, can I integrate this device in some way? Can I automate this system? The answer is almost always yes. And media consumption, watching movies and television is no different. There's a ton of ways that I'm using Home Assistant to enhance that experience as well. For example, we can take the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition and do something like this. Shuffle an episode of the Big Bang Theory. Now Lorelai is going through a script that is telling her what to do and how to do it. And then finally delivering the episode that I asked for, in this case, it's a random episode on my television. A random episode from the Big Bang Theory should now be playing on Plex. And I can do that with any television show or really any piece of media that I have in my Plex library. I'm also using Home Assistant in several other ways. For example, when we play movies at night, if it's a movie, not a television show or some other media, movies in particular will cause the Hue Sync to turn on, which will synchronize all the lights in here to whatever's happening on, on the television. The other thing that's kind of nice is if we pause the television, whether it's a, a YouTube video, a movie, or a, a television show, it will slowly bring the lights up. And that will happen in the living room where we're watching TV, as well as the kitchen and some other parts of the house. And then when we come back into the living room, Home Assistant detects that the media is playing again, we'll dim the lights in the other rooms, and then if it's a movie, we zoom the sync of the lights. So now how does all this work? The one thing I will go into detail is the automation to shuffle program. Let's take a closer look at the script that makes this all happen. So before I jump into the script anatomy in the YAML, I wanted to show this flowchart which shows what's going on here. So when the script is invoked, first it'll check to see if the Apple TV is off or in standby mode. If it's not, then it will check to see if the TV is on or off. If the TV is off, then it will turn the TV on. If it's not, it'll make sure that the source is set correctly to the Apple TV. Now we'll continue down the pipeline, making sure that the rest of the requirements are set make sure that the source is set to Plex. It will make sure that Plex is available for the Apple TV. And then it will select which show to shuffle. Now the shows we watch often, I have created some dedicated pipelines for those, but we can also shuffle any show. For the ones that we watch often, I wanted to give it the best possible chance of getting it correct. So might as well carve out those pathways. But again, it's versatile and you can have the LLM actually pick which show you want. So for example, Seinfeld is in here, but if I said Seinfeld, it would choose the middle pathway. Now let's take a look at the script itself. First thing we have set up here are a few fields to give Lorelei the options for the actions to take. So like I said, we have the four most common television shows that we are watching right now. I will probably add on to this and remove things in the future and we also have the other shows option and we then we need to set up a text field to capture other tv shows if that is something we've selected so in other words if we ask for a show that is enlisted here Lorelai will go down this pipeline and then use this text field to fill that in so now we're going to define those variables in particular we need to define the other tv show query up front which is this one which is that text field and we will define the other variable in a moment and like we saw in the flow chart first it checks the apple tv then it will check to see if the tv is on or off then it makes sure that the appropriate source is set i have some delays baked in because some things take a little bit of time before they're ready to go to the next step that may take some trial and error to get right then I've added this scan Plex for clients. Sometimes the actual client that's on the Plex side for the Apple TV goes quiet and we need that to actually choose the correct show to watch. Again, another delay. Now 
back from the beginning set of options, depending upon what I've asked for, it will go down one of these five pipelines. And let's say it was the Big Bang Theory. This field renders true. And now I have the perform action play media and I have targeted the Plex client for my Apple TV. And then here is the particular string of text that you need to get this right. This might be different depending upon what type of library you're using. This will work for Plex. If I just go into the YAML real quick so you can see this in full. The content ID needs to be built like this for Plex where you have the library name and then the type of media and then the, the name of the media itself and then any extra things you wanna do. In this case, I want to shuffle. I wanna play a random episode. So that's how that is all set up. And for some particular shows, I change the TV volume. Some television media are set at a much higher volume than others. So this is just an added little quality of life bit to equalize that depending upon what I've asked for. And the same thing goes for any of these other shows. And then the other show, we've got simply that text variable, that string from all the way up top this other TV show title that we defined right here. We drop that into where the TV show name would be and then lower like and then pass on whatever I asked for directly into Plex to play it. And then as always, when we are feeding anything back to an LLM, we need to set a response variable at the end to really let it know that it succeeded or didn't and to end the sequence, we stop it. So I will share this YAML in the description below, but that is really all there is to it. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I am more than happy to help work some folks through some of these complexities. To keep these videos brief, I'm not going into a lot of detail, I'm not showing every, every granular little step here. I'm making some assumptions that you understand some basics. So if you hit a roadblock, again, drop a comment below. I will do what I can. I'll even record another video and unlist it for you if it helps. I really do want to see people succeed with this stuff because it is really, really cool. So again, thanks. Let me know what you want to see. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.